Hi guys, this is Case by Case channel. This video is going to show the progress and result of the AIO water cooler part 2 test, which is the third video of the fish case cooling fan setting optimization. If you want to see the previous AIO water cooler part 1 video, please press the link above. In this video, I'm going to show you the progress and the result of the AIO water cooler part 2. The spec of the computer used in the test are live on the left side. AI water cooler part 2 was conditioned where the radiator of the water cooler was mounted at the top of the case. As you can see, I tested with 9 different fan settings and find out which setting was the best. At first, I am setting up the computer for testing the thermal grease used for the test. I bought GD900 from the AliExpress. It's cheap but high performance. I removed to use the summer grace and reapplied it after removing the water cooler. Next, I attached a radiator to the top of the case. At this time, because of the small size of my case, there's not enough space inside. Especially when I put the radiator on top, I cannot install the cooling fan as you see. Therefore, the cooling fan was mounted on the outside of the case edition and the cooling fan cable was installed to enter the inside of the case through the hole in the back of the case. The cooling fan in the front was replaced with included fan with the PC case package and the acrylic panel was assembled to finish the setting. At the time of testing, the room temperature was 24.4 degrees. As I mentioned in the first video of the series, the test was conducted without front glass panel. As you can see in setting number 1, all 6 cooling fans are mounted in the air intake direction. I was using the ADA64 for the test program and I used the hardware monitor to measure the CPU and GPU temperatures. Out of the test, the 6 fans were set to the maximum speed mode. The test was progressing about 10 minutes and recorded the highest CPU and GPU in 10 minutes. The same test was performed for the remaining 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 8, 7, and 5. The test took more than half an hour in each case. So totally it took about 5 hours, but I'm gonna show you in 5 minutes by editing. It was really boring and hard time for me. All the tests are finished. Now let's look at the result. This test AIO water cooler's case mounted at the top of the case and setting up 9 different combinations of cooling fans. As you can see from setting 1 to 9. Among them, the best condition was number 8 wow! and they show 73 degrees of CPU and 71 degrees of GPU. The worst condition was the number 9 <coughs> and they show 87 degrees of CPU and 68 degrees of GPU. The reason why number 9 is a high CPU temperature is because the heat generated from the GPU cause the internal air, which is already hot, to be exhausted and passed through the radiator. Setting 1, 2, and 8, which cools the radiator with air from outside, is relatively low, but it can be seen that 3, 2, 7, and 9 is high when passing through the radiator as it is discharged from the inside. So I'm gonna finish the test. An upcoming video is AIO Water Cooler Part 3. It will be comprehensive comparison AIO Water Cooler Part 1 and Part 2 test. After that, there are still a lot of series from Tower Cooler Parts 1 to 4. If you want to see about AIO Water Cooler Part 3 and the last video, please subscribe, like, and click the notification bell. Also, please leave the comments. 
Thank you for watching my video. Bye.